teachers, uh, something popped up with our little shield that's kind of cool now. Um, it may have come last week and I didn't notice it, but it was brought to my attention today, so I wanted to share it out. When we started Google Meet, when we have this little shield down in the corner for us to control host controls of our Meet, um, if we go ahead and give that a click, we have this thing that says quick access. And so if we go ahead and slide that over, you can be the first one in your meet, click that. Now every student who comes in, whether they're Barstow Unified or outside Barstow Unified has to ask to come in. Um, so that's one way to kind of keep intruders in. Now, if you have a giant class size, like I wouldn't want to do this with one of my classes that has like 60 something kids. Cause I, wanna, I don't want to have to let each kid in individually, but you could also be like start a class in the first five minutes and then go, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, turn this on now in the middle of it. And every kid who comes in later, you have to screen to let them in. That's another way to do that. Um, also, if you're getting students who pop into your Google Meet that don't belong there, please make sure you're refreshing this link um, from your actual Google Meet page. Every, I, I, some people do it every Meet. Some people do it, you know, once a week. I do it when I notice something is weird. I had, I had a student who went to our campus, but not in my sixth period, probably in my sixth period. I was like, we have a spy, gotta swap that out. So change that. The other thing, right, so now we can kick kids out. Make sure we swap this. The other thing is if you start a meet from like googlemeet.com, okay? Um, I could title this like Greensweet Support. Nope, oh, if I could spell support, that'd be cool. I could title it like that. Click continue. And I could tell my students now, hey, if you go to googlemeet.com and you type for join a meeting, Greensweight support, it'll pop them right into that meeting for you. Um, but when you're the creator of a meet that has a nickname like that, um, it doesn't let people in until you're there. And when you leave, it also kicks people out. So especially for a support time, actually, I'm kind of using stuff like that. But again, that way you guarantee you're sort of the first person in the meeting. If you do a custom meeting like that, although it's more steps to explain that to students to get to those meets sometimes. Um, but yeah, using your main classroom one, that's a cool way to sort of block students out. So hopefully that helps the people who have been having that issue.